This new four-story tower at the Dixie Regional Medical Center campus off River Road will soon house the women's clinic and newborns. The expansion and consolidation of the old site into one campus will allow for better coordination of care. We are going up to eight labor and delivery rooms. We'll have two simply birth rooms. We'll have four rooms dedicated to lower intervention. So those women who want, you know, the experience of laboring in the hospital, but with low intervention, um, more of a home-like atmosphere. We also have five high-risk antepartum rooms. And at the 400 East campus, we only had two rooms dedicated to high risk. The first two floors for women and newborns will provide much larger rooms with newer technology than the 400 East campus. We labor and deliver and recover in these rooms as well too. So they're in this room for about two hours after delivery and then we take them up to the mother baby room and that's where they finish the rest of their stay. They are even able to offer special rooms for twins. This room has the ability to um, care for multiple gestations in one room so we can have the twins in this room together um, which is nice for family. There's space for the family members to lay here and to sleep here and support. We really um, support family centered care. The family provides the care. You know, the nurses are just there to help support them. We keep these rooms kind of small um, just so that there's the nurses, the physicians, the two babies and maybe a visitor to at the time. With more rooms and more space, the hospital will be able to treat many more patients, offering more tailored services, including dedicated spaces and equipment for high-risk deliveries. Hansen says with this new building, they can also now care for premature babies in their neonatal intensive care unit. This room here at Dixie, this NICU at Dixie, we can care for babies down to 24-week gestation, so those super preemie babies, those critically ill babies, we can care for here instead of having to transfer them out of the city and out of the area. We can keep them here and care for them here. This neonatal intensive care unit actually serves five counties around here, so we care for newborns and pregnant patients into, you know, Nevada and to the Arizona area as well too. So this area is crucial. This consolidation project was crucial to help support that growth. The fourth floor of this building has been designated especially for both inpatient and outpatient mental health. The Access Center is a 24-hour crisis stabilization center for those who may be struggling with depression. And so patients that, you know, are possibly you know having thoughts of harming themselves, um, depressed, that don't need um, per se you know like a five-day stay but they just need some stabilization. They can come here and they can spend up to 24 hours with us and they'll have the opportunity to meet with psychiatry. Um, we'll also have therapists here, um, RNs, on the inpatient wing, the furniture, including the doors, are especially designed to keep the patients safe. The towel hangers, we don't have, you know, uh, different like, like bars that are open so that you can tie around them. We close off like our sinks so there's no exposed pipes. The new North Tower is just one of three new building expansions on the DRMC campus. The next reports will feature the new diagnostic and treatment building. The new East Tower housing the wound and clinic and hyperbaric chambers and intensive care. And lastly, the new Intermountain Cancer Center of St. George, which will open in October. In St. George, Melissa Anderson, Community Education News.